Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video is more of an interview based question wherein the interviewer is asking the candidates to create an S3 bucket, an EC2 instance, an IAM role and utilize the IAM role to give EC2 access read and write permissions on that S3 bucket. Today we would be looking at how sequentially you can create all the three and complete the interview task. Let's get straight into the video. So I am currently in the Hyderabad region and I have a default VPC in this region. I would be using this default VPC to create our EC2 instance and I would also be creating the S3 bucket in this particular region. Now, Because the interviewer did not specify that we should be using our own VPC, so I would be taking the leverage of the default VPC which is already there in the account to complete the task. To begin with, I would first go into S3 and create a new S3 bucket for the purpose of this interview. I'll say it as CTB00 demo. The next thing that I would do is select the region. So it's already in the Hyderabad region and I would create the S3 bucket. Now that the S3 bucket has been created with the name CTB00 demo, the next thing that I would be doing is create an IAM role. So I'll go to IAM section and then create an IAM role which can be assigned to the EC2 instance. I'll go to the IAM role. I'll click on create IAM role. We would be selecting AWS services and the service that would be using it is EC2. I'll click on next. Here I would be creating a policy as an inline policy. So we'll just go click on next and I will provide the name as CPB00 demo S3 access from EC2 and I would go ahead and edit the permissions. So in the permissions it is again taking us to the create policy page. So let's create a policy over here in a new tab. The policy that I would be creating is going to give certain permissions that are needed for the access to happen. The first permission that I will be giving is list all my buckets which is needed to list down all the buckets that are there in the AWS S3 account. The resources for this would be star. I would click on add more permissions. I would select the same service S3. This time what I would be doing is select specific permissions like list bucket some read permissions like get object which is needed to download the objects or the files from the s3 bucket i would also be giving it access to upload some objects that is put object and I would be now specifying the bucket. So I will add the bucket ARN. So I will get the bucket name as CPB00 demo. This is the bucket ARN. And uh, inside this, we would be. So the bucket ARN will be CPB00 demo. I would be adding this ARN. And inside this ARN, I would select any object because I want to give overall permissions to this. So we could also add this ARN. So the bucket name is CPB00 demo and any object is what I would like to select. I'll add the ARN over here and what I would be doing is clicking on next. Now that this is created, so it will create a policy. I'll name the policy as CPB00 demo s3 access from ec2 policy 
or you could just call it as S3 access because this uh, policy is only providing access to the S3 bucket. Now that the policy has been created, let's refresh the page and we would do a CPB00, CPB00 demo. If you hit enter, so you have this access that we have just created. So the policy has been selected. You'll click on next and then you would complete the IAM role creation process. Now that the IAM role has been created, so you could filter the IAM role via CPB00 demo S3 access from S2. You could review the IAM role. So this has the ARN, this has an instance profile and this is the permission that has been created. If you look at the permissions, it is giving us list all buckets option. It's allowing list all buckets number one and then it is specifically allowing get object, list object and put object permissions on this S3 bucket. The next thing that I would be doing is creating an EC2 instance. As I told, uh, we would be using the default PPC to create the EC2 instance. So I'll calling, be calling this as demo. Now the reason why I am following strict naming conventions is if you in the interview also name all your resources according to a set naming convention, the interviewer would get a good feel about the candidate. This actually shows the amount of experience you have in creating resources and designing the architectures. So I always suggest people to go with a set naming conventions for all their resources. Now it is just demo and then I'll call it as Linux as server. I would be selecting the Amazon Linux 2 machine image, T3 micro should be enough. I would be selecting my PEM key which is already there. If you don't have a PEM key, you could always create a PEM key and store the private key with you. Since this is a default VPC, we leave everything as default. I would allow the SSH traffic because I would be testing the access to S3 from there. Once this is created, you could open this in a new tab and what we have missed while creating the EC2 instance is attaching the IAM role. So what you could definitely do is go to actions, go to security and modify IAM role and here you could provide the IAM role that we just created for this demo. I'll update the IAM role and this should update the permissions on this security now what I would be doing is taking in the public IP address which we have got and trying to SSH into the server. So I'm already inside the location where the SSH keys are placed. So the SSH command will be SSH-EC2-user, the IP address and then the key name that is apsout2.10. Let's try to see if we are able to connect. As you see, we are already logged into the server. The first thing that I would do is check if I have access to the S3 buckets or not. So I'll do an AWS S3 LS. This is a CLI command that is used to list all S3 buckets in my AWS account. Now we have specifically given permissions to allow read access on this particular S3 bucket. So what we'll do is quickly see if there is any data which is inside the S3 bucket. As you see, uh, there is nothing inside. So let's actually clear the screen uh, and create a file called as file.txt. I would echo some content into it. So this is a demo. Putting in some random text into the file. So I've added this line and I would be sending the output into the file.txt. If you do a cat to file.txt, you already have this. The next task that we have is to copy the file.txt which is there on this server into the S3 bucket that is cpb00 demo. As you see, you get the response as upload and the file has been uploaded. Now, if you go to the AWS console and go to S3, open it in a new tab, 
you would be able to find that the file has been uploaded to this place. This is file.txt and if you open it on a new window, this is the thing that you would be seeing on the file. Now let's also try to upload a file manually from our laptop onto the bucket or into the bucket. So what I'll be doing is uploading an index.html file. I'll upload this and let's try to see what is the content of this file. So if you open this file, you would be getting this particular content as a welcome.cloud partshala thing. What we can also now do is try to see what exactly we can do to download the file from that S3 bucket. But to understand what the files are, let's try to list the S3 buckets. We are specifically interested in this S3 bucket. So I would be doing as this. So this would actually give you a list of all the files. And I particularly want to download index.html. So what I'll do is AWS S3 CP. The source would be this slash index.html and I want to place it in the current working directory. So this is what I have. To go a step further, what you could do with this demo is you could install HTTPD Apache web server on this machine. You could then go into var www html and you could actually download the S3 uh, bucket file on this location. So all you have to do is this S3 dollar at a CPB00 demo index.html and this. Now once if you see that it actually says that the permission is denied this is because you don't have the right permissions inside that folder. What I will suggest you to do is do a sudo su and then try to download the folder, download the file. As you see that the file is downloaded. Now let's try to check the service status. So system CTL status HTTPD dot service. Uh, the service is actually stopped at the moment. So let's try to restart the service. And what you can now do is open the port. 80 on the firewall so you have to open this port on the firewall which will do this and click on http access you need to allow it across the internet and save the request now if you try to access the same ip address on other browser you should be able to see the same web page which you were able to see from the bucket also so the same thing is visible on the bucket the same thing can be displayed on the server so this is how you can one create an s3 bucket two create an iam role that would give you access to that would give ec2 instances access to an s3 bucket and then launch an ec2 instance and then play around with s3 api keys so for listing all the buckets, the S3 or the AWS CLI command that I use is AWS S3 LS is the command that we use to list all the buckets in my AWS account. The command that we use to list all the content of a particular S3 bucket is AWS S3 LS followed by S3 colon slash slash and then the bucket name. If you have to upload a file, you would use AWS S3 CP, the source of the file and then the destination would be the bucket. If you want to download a file, it would be the source would be the actual location of the file in the S3 and a dot which would actually download it into the current working directory. Now, if you want to download something into a specific folder, what you can do is say something like TMP, you could give this and it will download the information into the temp folder, right? So this is exactly how you could play around with the entire task.
given uh, that the interviews generally these kind of interviews generally are two hour long and you could complete the task in about 15 20 minutes and get away with the interview i hope you found this video interesting if you are interested in knowing many more videos like this suggest more scenarios in the comment section if you like the video please like and share it across with your friends if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching keep having a great day